Hi guys! So the other day I came and worked in this side of the front door garden. I pulled out all the weeds, I put a beautiful nice fresh layer of mulch and doesn't it look lovely? So much nicer when it's all buttoned up like that. But today I am working on the other side. So I've been collecting plants for this side of the garden for a little while now. I've got Japanese maples, arum lilies, um, Placanthus, is that it? It's a velvet elvis. I've got some walking iris. Um, just things that as I've been shopping, I've found and I've gone, oh, that's pretty. And I don't really know where else to put it. So I've kind of bought it all and laid it all out on the side there and see what happens. Um, anyway. Today I just want to start putting some things in the ground. So I've laid out my violets just along the ground here in kind of a little bit of a grid pattern. I don't want it to be a really formal area. My idea is that the whole section is covered with beautiful ground cover. So I've got the violets but I've also got down here a whole heap of dichondra that I've just been picking up. I've got more in the greenhouse as well. And my plan today is just to get these in the ground. So how I've laid the violets out is that I've put one against every drip emitter because these uh, drip emitters are every 30 centimeters. <coughs> I swallowed a fly. That was gross. Yuck. Yuck. Ugh. Drip emitters, drip emitters every 30 centimeters. So I've put one of the plants against each of the drip emitters because then it's going to get the best water coverage. Um, and that's of course what we want. And then what I'll do once I've got all the violets planted is I will put the dichondra against all of the drip emitters that don't have a violet. And hopefully it looks beautiful. And I mean, the dichondra are tiny little plugs at the moment. So they'll take a little while to grow. The violets will take a little while to grow and spread. Um, but I think that it will be a really beautiful start to this area. And as it grows and kind of fills in and makes a carpet, the dichondra and the violets, they look quite similar, the leaf structure, but with the little pop of flowers every now and then with a violet, I think will be beautiful. And it will stifle all of the weeds. So I'm going to get these planted. We'll see how they look. And then if I've got time today, I will start maybe laying out where I want these things to go. They're all planted and I'm so happy with how it started to look. You can see I've also put a layer of mulch there. I used Huflung Dung, which I love. It is a little bit more expensive, so I can't put it everywhere. You know, normally I buy bulk mulch, um, but for something like this, I thought it was absolutely worth it. So the violas are planted every, you know, so often through there and go back uh, to that row there. And then the dichondra is planted in between the violas and again against every one of the little emitter holes um, in the drip line. Now the dichondra looks a little bit sad and that is just because you know it was teeny teeny tiny little plugs so give it a week or so to settle in the warm weathers here um, those dichondra will just take off wonderfully and it's the other reason I laid some mulch down now rather than waiting until we've finished planting mainly just so that you know, it gives them a little bit of extra water saving, a little bit of extra love, a little bit of, you know, just goodness in there as well. So anyway, um, I think I'm gonna stop here. It's starting to get really hot and we're in full sun now. So this is a great start for the project of getting this front door garden side done. Um, I'll just keep watering the other pots for now and eventually I will work out how to get them in the ground where I want them and I'll make sure I show that to you as well. Quick update, I've planted a whole heap of other little bits in here. It is all dichondra. So I've got the um, little violets are the bigger, slightly lighter green plants. And then every other emitter hole is dichondra. And this has been in now for uh, maybe three weeks, two weeks, and it's put on a fair bit of growth already. I've top dressed mulched with hooflung dung 
and got to there before I ran out of dichondra. So um, I will get all of the other plants and pop them in here eventually, but this will just start to make a really beautiful cover. The um, Huflung Dung will add a lot of great nutrients into here and the dichondra and the violets will spread really quickly. In fact, isn't that the most beautiful little flower on that violet? They're all doing really well, so it won't be long until this is a carpet of green and all of the other plants will fit in around it as well. So just a quick update because I didn't film that and uh, haven't posted the last video yet. <laughs> Bye guys.